fucking gun inside the car is not fun at all. You're dealing with glass, loudness, blindness. Uh, if I don't, if I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't. Right. At all. <laughs> but if I have to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, just even going through that, uh, like, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna lie, like, I told you, that's scary, bro. Like, yeah, bro, that is scary. Like, because even if I'm the driver, like, I wouldn't even want to be in a car, period, but I'm just saying. Even if I'm in on it. And, like, if I'm what the driver. What about you shoot me? Because you'd be like, you know what, I think you might tell. Yeah, like, because, like, I'd be like, damn, like, the whole time I'd be thinking. He finna go shoot you. I'd be like, man, I don't want to say nothing wrong. Like, I was like, the only thing I'd be thinking is, nigga, I ain't seen nothing, bro. Like, I don't know how I got here, bro. I was working on adrenaline. I don't know what was going on. I just know where the nearest hospital was. And for me, actually seeing somebody being shot and getting shot myself, ain't nowhere near pretty. Ain't never good at all. So, uh, no, no. that's why cats kill me. With I'm get back to the switch thing. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even, the military don't even shoot fully automatic unless you're doing suppressor fire. And that's yeah. a technique for flanking. Mm-hmm. So not even the military use fully automatic. Because mm-hmm. for one, you run out of bullets too fast. And, and then people are like, oh, I got a 50 round drum. Okay. You can shoot for six seconds now instead of three. <laughs> and me, and God forbid, like I said, I don't want to be in none of that, but you know, cats put in their pocket. No holster. Uh, not with somebody who trained, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Somebody who trained and got a holster, yeah, you ain't making it. Right. And you could tell me, like, first of all, don't tell me, because I'm going to shoot you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if you be like, yo, first of all, pulling out your gun is assault. If you pull out your gun and don't even point it at nobody, you what they call brandishing, <laughs> it's assault. So if you hear niggas be like, nigga, I got three assault charges, that nigga probably pulled his gun out all three times and never shot. Because people think assault means physical violence. It's not. Battery is physical. So you niggas be like, man, I got five pending assault charges. He probably showed his gun five times. So, for that being said, <laughs> I, you know, hey, man, you got the stick. You got the extendo. It look cute. You spend extra money. But I will put my money on my firearm and a 17-round magazine with, <laughs> with 150 grain bullets. Mm. And what people don't know is it's only like it's five different types of 9-millimeter bullets. Mm. That's number one. And a lot of these cats got the wrong ammo in their gun. And that's another reason why it jams. Even with having a switch, that gun wasn't meant to go that fast. It's mm-hmm. going to jam. You probably get maybe two or three uses out of it for that, for that gun break. <laughs> and I want something reliable. So mm-hmm. that's why I carry what I carry. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, Well, like like we said, God forbid any of that stuff even happened. But say if you was unaware, like, uh, because, you know, uh, the man got uh, killed in Chicago uh, for hitting on a mother or whatever. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But, like, God forbid, like, say if somebody, if it was a situation like that going on and they up the switch on you before, like, as soon as, you, as, soon as they up and you see you got the switch, you say that with that, you'll be able to survive. Like, with, with that? No, I won't, I won't say I'll be able to survive. What I would say is, for one, if we into it, yeah. I'm watching you anyways. Yeah. I'm watching you. Unless you're just doing random acts of violence, yeah. then probably, you know, probably not, depending on how close you are. If you as close as, as me and this camera is, yeah. and you pull that gun out, I'm gonna kill you with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I carry a knife. Yeah, because <laughs> because typically when you what they call EDC everyday carry. So when you a person that carry a weapon, they call it EDC. So yeah. my EDC consists of a flashlight that will blind the shit out of you, mm. my gun, a watch, phone, and my knife. Mm. So typically my right hand, I'm right handed. I can shoot with both hands because I train. I got right handed. This this is my strong hand. If you're close enough to where I can grab your wrist, or you, I'm getting I'm getting my hand on the gun, mm-hmm. and then we're going somewhere. And yeah. while we going there, I'm a, this hand is gonna get my knife, yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm a you know I'm a fillet you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fillet you. Yeah. But I will say this: if we at a gas station, you three pumps away, you point your switch at me. I'm getting behind cover, of course. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm. I'm highly confident that I'll probably be the one walking away. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. I'll probably run in a certain direction and have you. I'm only waiting for three seconds. Until... And then once I hear that click, I was like, oh, I know he ain't got another Mac because mm-hmm. <laughs> I got several. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
So no, if, if I had to put my life on the line, it wouldn't be a switch mm-hmm. at all. I'd rather go with a semi-automatic that shoot how many times I pull the trigger. Yeah. Because I know where them rounds going to go. Because when you're shooting a switch, you don't know. Right. You don't know. You don't know where the bullet's landing, so you can't even adjust to get to the point, like I said. I wouldn't have that reliability. Yeah, it's cute. But I, if I'm really out here doing stuff, it wouldn't be that. The, the mafia don't even carry guns like that. Cartels don't even carry guns like that. They don't shoot fully automatic like that. Unless you just want to shoot up some. A crowd. Uh, you know, whatever. Just you don't care, then probably. But if it's one particular person, I'm not getting no switch. And plus two, you're going. That's automatic. Bro, no. Nah, you get caught with that, bro. You're going to jail 25 years minimum. For real. You get caught with it. Because it's illegal. Like, it's illegal. You know what I'm saying? All bullets do the same, bro. No matter how fast it's going. So, either you practice or not. You just be one of these cats that just, like I said, you just shooting for no reason. Because they really don't put on the news on how many how many shootings take place that yeah. did nobody die. Right. They only put the ones when somebody dead or mm-hmm. got injured. But for the most part, no. People ain't got no training to shoot with one hand. And typically, I'm not shooting with one hand. Right. <laughs> Unless, like, you know, whatever. The zombie on me. Or whatever the hell going on, and I need to, but other than that, no, I'm not shooting too. <laughs> People don't have proper grip. And like I said, these young cats ain't working out. Nah. It's like holding a jackhammer, bro. You can't hold that thing still to do whatever. I shoot this with one hand, bro. You saw me. Yeah. I shot the Draco with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> I got I shoot the desert my desert eagle with one hand. Yeah. I wouldn't do it though. I nah, mean real. Not in no real. No, nah, it hurt. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. I only got the people like, well, why you got the Desert Eagle? So I can see other people are hurt when they shoot it. But other than that, <laughs> no, I ain't carrying it to fit myself. No. That's crazy. But like, uh, in your opinion, like, what's uh, more accurate? Like the Drake or the, uh, like a, just a, 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 or a sawed off shotgun? Uh, both of them was made just to do as much damage as possible. Yeah. I don't think it's meant to be accurate. Because yeah. if you meant to be accurate, you'll get something like this. You get what they call an M4 uh, platform. Okay. What they call an AR, AR. Which, which which is don't stand for assault rifle. It's made from the person that came up with the concept. It's an armalade rifle. Mm-hmm. It's not assault rifle. It's not that. Mm-hmm. And first of all, uh, civilians can't get assault rifles. That's mm-hmm. only military. This is what I got here. Look nice. It looked crazy tactical, but what the military have far more better than what I got. Mm-hmm. But if I had to put my life on the line, I'd probably get a sawed off because I know it's gonna <laughs> hit. Plenty of stuff. <laughs> and even if I don't hit it, it's loud. <laughs> it's loud. Uh, the real, like, it's like a like a heart. Like like everybody go your attention. This is like a attention Instantly. grabber. Instantly. That's why I got a shotgun for the crib. Yeah. Hey, hey what, what what girl is that that uh they had on Friday? He said, I'm gonna hit you in the one that waked out the wood and stink. That's a double barrel. Yeah, yeah, the double that barrel. That double shot. barrel, and that looked like a, a 10 gauge. Yeah. <laughs> Them bad boys hurt <laughs> a lot, and people don't understand too. Like I got bean bag rounds. Oh yeah, okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got pellet rounds. Yeah. It ain't gonna kill you, but it's, it's gonna, gonna hurt. hurt a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gonna think you got shot? Absolutely. Cause me, I got a semi-automatic, so I don't need to pump mine. I just keep pulling the trigger and it go. But <laughs> for me, mine's whole eight rounds. Yeah. You got to have three. You got your first two rounds have to be uh, pellets. Yeah. A bird shot. Bird shot won't necessarily, like, it'll it, it kill you, depending on how close it is. But once it shoots, it spreads. Mm. So if you had a good distance from here to this couch, if I shoot it, it won't kill you, but you ain't going to be getting up right away. Right. So you got to have at least two of those rounds first. You can't hit nobody with a slug. But that third and fourth round, oh, yeah, you can have a slug. And then if you get hit with that slug, you ain't getting up, bro. You ain't getting up at all. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Uh, like just period, like uh, you know what I'm saying. Like what, like you from Milwaukee, bro? You know what I'm saying. Uh, you from here, like, like what's one of your craziest experience, like just being here, period. Uh, 